coming. Oh, yes, we got him. Oh, yes. Oh, that was amazing. Straight into the rock as well. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Today's first suggestion says, how about a cyborg named Terry to be on Barry's team? With the main enhancement being that he has one laser eye. Okay, that sounds pretty awesome. So here we go. Ta-da! Yeah, no, that, that looks ridiculous. So let's remove that. And then all we're going to do is scale down the plasma cannon here. This is the smallest we can get at 2.2. It's still quite large for his eye, but we're going to stick with it anyway. I've also lowered the power of it because the plasma cannon is pretty powerful. So it's at 0.2. But also Terry here has some additional multipliers. As you can see, HP multiplier 2 and the attack is also at 2 as well. So he's a little bit more powerful. So it could be quite difficult to get this guy to look like a cyborg. Uh, so it's kind of like, I guess, part human, part machine. Oh, and also let's give him an eye, the other eye as well. So we need to have a red eye since he's on Barry's team. And we'll do 0.6. There we go. That actually looks pretty cool. And just like that, Terry the cyborg has been created. Now I'm feeling pretty confident about Terry. I reckon he can take down Goru. I mean, I could be very wrong on this, but let's find out, shall we? Start the battle. Here we go. Oh, look at that laser eye. That works so well. How much health has it taken down? Oh, no. Not that much. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll throw him into the deep end here. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, I forget how powerful Goru is. Ah, oh, poor Terry. So instead, let's try King Kung. <laughs> Hopefully, Terry can take down this guy. I mean, Terry has been scaled up, as you can see. He is a lot larger than King Kung here. Goru was just a little bit too strong. Yes. And just like that, Terry has won. Look how easily he won. Barely took any damage. Look at that eye. <laughs> he looks so strange. Next up, we have the Spinosaurus here. Let's see if we can take down Terry. I have a feeling that uh, the Cyborg will actually win this fight, but I could be wrong. Oh, no. Spinosaurus has Terry's head. That's not good. That's a lot of blood. Come on, Terry. He also has some spikes around him as well, so the spikes might help a little bit, but the Spinosaurus was a little bit too powerful. Reinforcements is here. The entire Barry family and friends are all here to take down the Spinosaurus. Yeah, so there's no way that the Spinosaurus is winning this time around. Oh, it's an ambush. He is getting messed up. Karen has been defeated, though. Look at Karen. Karen, you're weak. Come on. To be fair, the Spinosaurus is still alive somehow. Wait, never mind. It's, it's actually dead. Victory to Barry's team. So now I'm actually going to have to remove all these guys right here because this next suggestion says, have a battle between Gary's pets and Barry's pets. Now I have a feeling that Barry has easily won this one because if you look at Gary's pets, we have a parrot, dog, and a hamster, which can barely fight. But let's just see what happens anyway, shall we? Right, here comes the parrot. Oh yes, it's picked up Rexy from off the map. Yes, come on, Parrot. Just let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. No, no, no. Don't bring him back. No, they're both dead. No. Oh, look at the hamster go. Oh, the Titanoboa missed. Hellhound has now defeated the spider as well. No way. Gary's team might actually win this one. Oh, oh no. The hamster is being eaten by the snake right now. Come on, dog. Come on, doggo. This battle is a lot closer than I thought it would be, to be fair. No, the hamster's down. No. Come on, dog. Yes, yes, use the fire. Use the fire. You're so close to winning this fight. Just take down the Titan bow. What the? Why is it doing front flips? No, that's a big bite. Come on. Take it down, Hellhound. I think Gary's pets might actually win. I might have been wrong this entire time. They're more powerful than I thought they were. It's probably because Rexy has been defeated. That dinosaur, the T-Rex, is the strongest unit. <gasps> yes! I don't care that it says we lost because I'm actually rooting for Team 2, which is Gary's pets. And they've done it. To be fair, the Hellhound here almost did die, as you can see. And Mr. Nibbles, well, he got messed up. So yeah, honestly, if it wasn't for the parrot picking up the dinosaur like that, I really feel like Barry's team would probably win. <laughs> Look at it go. Oh, <laughs> that power is so cool. And look, now it's actually in the battle this time, unlike before. That's what I love about Arbs. The fights are always different each time. Oh, see, this time the Titan of Bo is actually going to take down the Hellhound, as you can see. The parrot's dead too. See, different result. The dog's been defeated. Uh-oh, hamster. Hamster, run. No. Oh, jeez. Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> because he's so small, it's so difficult for the snake to get it. Oh, no. Oh, just like that, Barry's team has won that time. <laughs> 
That was actually a really cool suggestion. But now it's time for us to move on to the next one, which says day two of asking Fudgy to make a Spinosaurus max size and add harpoons in the mouth. So this right here is a normal size Spinosaurus. Let me go ahead and change the multiplier again. And then this right here is a max size Spinosaurus. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't think I've ever max sized the Spinosaurus before. We might need a bigger map than this. This is actually insane. Okay, let me just move them out of the way. Let's move it back a little further. There we go. That is actually insane. Okay, so now all we need to do is add the harpoons in the mouth. So here we go, harpoon. Did we add a giant harpoon? How many should we add? It's going to be really cool to see this in action though, because he's just going to harpoon whatever he sees down here into his mouth and then eat them in one go pretty much. Okay, let's scale it right down to 1.2. I don't think it really matters too much if we change the size. Okay, stay still, Spinosaurus. Okay, I think I added one right at the back of his mouth. I can't see it, but I'm definitely placing something. Okay, there we go. I've got about four in there at the moment. I know you can't see it, but it's like behind his tongue. There you go. You can see it a little bit there. Right, all we need to do now is add some enemies and see what happens here. All right, so we probably want some lighter units. Maybe let's go for... Should we just, let's stick with people, ancient humans to begin with, and then add a few Spartan warriors. Three, two, one, start the battle. Here we go. Come on, harpoons. Oh, he missed. Try again, try again. No, it's not working. Why are they not going in? The harpoons, I think they're actually hitting the mouth of the Spinosaurus, maybe. <laughs> it looks so strange, though. Oh, oh, we got one. Oh, whoa. Yo, that guy went flying. Oh, man, this Spinosaurus is awesome. Oh, the crunch sound. Look at the way he just throws them off the map like that. Oh, he's fallen over. All right, so maybe a larger unit might work best because it's a bigger target to hit. So the harpoon should activate a lot easier, right? If we go for a herbivore, such as... Ankylosaurus, maybe? I don't know. Might be hard to penetrate the armor of this thing. Start the battle. Here we go. Come on, please work, please work. Oh, he's got him. He's got him hooked, but he missed the mouth. Oh, what's happening? This is weird. <laughs> this is so strange. Oh, it's dead. Okay, let's try something else. I just want to see a clean shot from the harpoon and then the animal get absolutely dragged into the Spinosaurus's mouth. I think it'd be really cool to see. Maybe King Kong would be pretty good. I feel like, I feel like the harpoons could probably grab him. Start. Here we go. Come on, harpoons. Oh, he's coming. Oh, yes, we got him. Oh, yes. Oh, that was amazing. Straight into the rock as well. No way. <laughs> that was so awesome. Oh, man. I got to save this creation right here. What is he doing? <laughs> He's stumbling all over the place. It's like he doesn't know what to do once the enemy has been defeated. Right, Gary. I know that you're the good guy and everything, but in the name of science, we have to try this out, okay? Let's hope you're not too heavy for this thing. Oh, oh, he missed. Come on, fire the harpoons. Fire them again. Try again. There we go. Oh, oh, jeez. He's in his mouth. He's probably going to get flung across the map. Oh, harpoon's been activated again. Come on, Gary. <laughs> get out of there. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, Gary's been defeated. I am having way too much fun with this suggestion. But next up, we have Coward Cole. Very light, so should be able to just go absolutely flying into its mouth. Oh, just like that. Oh, jeez. He's still alive. Oh, never mind. Straight into the Spinosaurus's face. Right, let's try again. Here we go. Look, he's, he's confused. Usually he should be running away by now. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Come on, just bite down. Spinosaurus, bite down. He's in his tongue. Look at that. Oh, and he's dead straight away. Maybe Rocky here can take down the Spinosaurus with his missiles. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he was too late. Oh, hang on a minute. There it is. Missile away. Fire. Yeah, it's too late. Now, I am very excited for this next suggestion because it says here, day 1,863. That's, that's definitely a lie. But moving on, it says, of asking Fudgy to download my creation, The Destroyer by Buster, and fight it against the army, army killer. I'm guessing you meant the army killer, killer. But I know what you meant. And this right here is my most powerful unit. And this is what he has created. Now, in the workshop creation, it says that the unit is unkillable. So this right here, you cannot kill this guy. So that is the challenge for this suggestion. Right, let's see what happens here, shall we? So as you can see, this guy has uh, plasma beams 
He also has some machine guns on these are wings. I'm not too sure. One of them's going all over the place over here. And there's also some lightning guns, as you can tell. So yeah, this could be interesting. Right. Let's start the battle. Here we go. Come on. Come on, the army killer killer. Um, what? Dude, you, you are my most powerful creation. How have you been defeated that easily? What? He didn't take any damage. The only smallest amount. How is that even possible? What is the stats of this thing? All right, here we go. Wait, what? How How's that? How do you do that? Look at the HP multiplier and the attack multiplier. 50,000? What? That's insane. How do I kill you? Okay, this is going to be a very, very difficult challenge to complete. Um, how do we go about this? We're going to have to make some upgrades to the army killer killer. But before that, I just want to see how badly it would destroy the army killer. It's a little bit confusing with all these, <laughs> these names. Okay, here we go. So this used to be my most powerful unit. As you can see, it doesn't have any guns or anything like that. But let's see how quickly it dies. Here we go. And it's dead. Oh my Okay, this is going to be the biggest challenge in ARBS history. ARBS. Hear me out. What if we had an army of the army killers? Yes, there's no way this thing could take down this many of my powerful creations, right? Surely not. Start the battle. Here we go. Oh, you are so screwed now, the destroyer. You think you're so tough? We're we'll trying to take down an army of some of my most overpowered units. Yes. Push him off the map. You know what? Pushing him off the map is probably the only way we're going to kill it. It's taken no damage. Look at that. Barely anything. Oh, jeez. All right. You know what? Buster, the creator of this creation right here. I I'm, I'm going to be honest. You have actually made a real beast. Somehow it's still alive. <laughs> Look at the T-Rex is just holding onto his tail. Just let go and you'll win. Release it. Yes, there we go. And just like that, we have won the fight. Wait, it's not dying? Hang on a minute. Is it? I think it really is unkillable. It wasn't kidding. The description says it's unkillable and it's not dying and it's fallen out the map. What? And it's still shooting. Right. You know what? You've clearly broken the game. You have bugged your creation. This should not be possible. I don't even know how, how he's done it, to be fair. Yeah, I have no idea. But yeah, even though I still have two T-Rexes on the platform still alive, he definitely won that one. Right. I've got to quickly try this. Godzilla here from the workshop. This used to be like the most overpowered thing I remember thinking there's no way I can make anything to actually defeat it. And now this creation right here is just absolutely going to annihilate it. What? How? <laughs> That's insane. I don't think I've ever seen a creation kill Godzilla as fast as that. That is mind blowing. All right, fine. You know what? We'll get an army of the army killer killer, right? Because... The army killer has guns, so there's a much better chance of it winning. Well, it has harpoons and the plasma beams, so I'm guessing that's really going to help out in this fight. Here we go. Yes. That's looking better. Come on. Take it down. A couple of them have already been defeated. I, I mean, I don't know why I'm even doing this if we can't kill it. If it's impossible, then there's no point even trying. But I'll give it a good go anyway. Oh, look how many of them have died. No, we lost the battle. Let me check on its health. Oh, that's the most health we've taken off it, though. Okay, so we're we're heading in the right direction here. What if I make a new unit? Something more powerful than the army killer killer. All right, this could be a bit of a challenge, but I have an idea for this. Plasma beams seem to be the way forward. Of course, they're fairly new to ARBs. So I reckon if we make use of that, we could end up winning this. So if I go to the A box here change the stats to as high as I can get them. Uh, clearly, we can go higher than this if we wanted to, but I have no idea how the person of this creation has done it. Um, if you do know, feel free to let me know in the comment section. All right, so here we go. Let's place this here. The next thing I'm going to do, give it a little bit of armor and uh, maybe just max stats that as well. There we go. Yes, this has to work. If I can't take damage, then we're basically invincible as well, right? And you know what? Let's also double up. Yes, there we go. I know it looks a little strange, but... It doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it can take down this thing right here. And you know what? Let's also put a skull on top of it to make it look more scary. Although it looks like kind of made it go weird, but that's fine. You know what? Let's just replace it. Yep, right there. And let's also give it a helmet. There we go. It looks a bit more intimidating now. So I also have a feeling that this thing could end up rolling back from the attack from that thing over there. So maybe if I give it some uh, of this right here, I, I don't know what to call this, but I guess it's kind of like stabilizers. 
Should stop it from rolling back. Yeah, it could be fairly useful. And now let's move on to the plasma cannon. So I reckon if we add a bunch of these, scale them down, we have a much better chance of winning this. All right, here we go. So one there. And also I'm going to make them green just so we can see uh, which one is ours a lot easier. Yes. Oh, we are so taking down the destroyer. It doesn't stand a chance. So before I duplicate this creation right here, let's just see what it's like in action on its own. Right, start the battle. Here we go. Oh, what? How? Oh, jeez. How did you do this? It's a monster. How did it kill it so fast? Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. I'm so confused. Start the battle. Oh, that's a lot of laser beams. Yes. Wait, did we do it? It's only taken down one so far. Oh, okay, maybe four. No. How is it still alive? It's killing every single one of them. No, come on. <laughs> oh, the creator of this thing must be so proud right now. Right, that's it. This one's still alive somehow. It's doing good. Just keep firing, keep firing. Oh, look at his health. We've almost killed it. So close now. Why are the other guys not firing? We still have quite a lot still alive, but only this guy is shooting at it. Maybe it's a little too far away from the other ones. I'm not too sure. All right, keep firing. Keep firing. Um, are you going to continue shooting or... I am so confused by this fight right now. Look at that. We're so close to killing it. Maybe if I give it a little nudge. Okay, no, that's not going to work. Wait, unless there's only a certain amount of laser beams you can get is that a thing i guess it's, it's all run out of juice no more ammo well that is a shame because i feel like we were gonna win that one in fact i'm i'm just gonna take the victory because look at his health we basically won right so let me end the battle and then let me modify some of these what if we just give them a couple of missile launchers on the back yeah this could work there we go and some machine guns on their heads at this point, I really don't care where I place them as long as they work. This is the one. This is it. Come on. You got this, boxes. Keep up the heavy fire. Where are my missiles at? Fire those missiles. Come on. Are the missiles not working? Well, the machine guns are definitely working, though. Great. So it's just the machine guns now. We're going to be here all day for this. <gasps> Look at his health. He's so close to dying. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> we did it. We have finally defeated the destroyer victory to us see the unit isn't unkillable i mean to be fair look what it took us to kill it that is very very impressive i have to say anyway on that note i'm gonna go ahead and end this one right here there's another video on the top right so make sure you go ahead and check that out also don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll hopefully see you in that video right there goodbye